and just put us. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yay, Tommy! Tell me when to go. Okay. Now? Yep, I think we're live. Are we yeah. live? We're live. Technical difficulties, please stand by. We're live. That Good was fun. Good afternoon. Now, everyone's asking, everyone's saying now, why What's are they talking on? before the thing? That? I know. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> shush. You could tell he's back. Good afternoon. Mm. Welcome to another edition of What's Happening <laughs> Long Island. As you can see, my very loud co-host is back. Is Welcome so back. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Thank you very much. So give me an update. What's with the baby? Before the update, I have to say this is really funny. So the reason why we're starting late and there was no title is because we have a new producer. Yes, we do. And we love Tommy. Which was his birthday two days ago. So happy yes. belated birthday. Yes. Um, but <laughs> happy birthday, Tommy. I'm not blaming <laughs> not you, Tommy. Blaming him. I'm not blaming him. Technical it's issues here in the studio technical today. Technical difficulties, but it's all good. All right, let's get on with the show. It's all good. Tell me about the baby. Oh, we're going on the show already? You're on the show. Go we're ahead. on the show now? Yes, we are. I'm just kidding. Let's go. How's the baby? You have to start all over again. This is crazy. Okay, how is the baby? I got to remember what so I said when we weren't live. Okay, how it's is like the I'm baby? It's like I'm doing two segments in 15 minutes. Okay, so listen to me carefully. The baby. Oh, what about the baby? The baby. Oh, I'm just playing here. Yeah. You are so, so annoying. Girls, thank girls, you. girls. Now, all these people are going to be watching us at 12 o'clock and they're going to be like, Where's the, where are they? Where are they? Where and now we're 15 minutes late. Okay, so let's, if you don't want to talk about the baby, let's talk about my last show without you. And so, how amazing. So the baby it was, was great. Okay, good. And. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, baby, was, baby was great. Um, gaining, gaining weight, so which is good. Yeah. Nicole's so, doing well. Nicole's doing great. Some is she loving nights. like motherhood? <laughs> loving beyond we look Good. at this we look at this baby and we say like how how did i know this thing be inside her it's you weird you'll wait till this thing is bigger than it's, you <laughs> it's weird right. but I'm, I'm loving it Good. I'm loving it. I'm cherishing every moment. The moms are loving it. And uh, mothers are loving it. Good. Um, it's Good. cute. I can't wait to go home and uh, and see him again. Okay. Good. Um, All right. Let's talk about our last show that you watched and you called in Regis. Regis. Yes. Regis. Very good. Congratulations. Very good. Last thank last you. Show. Thank you. I was great. Very, great. Thank you, I was Kim. very impressed. Thank you, Mary I was very impressed. I didn't expect anything different, though. I no, knew that but, you would do amazing. But they were true professionals. Great show. Great education. That's what we're about here. Correct? Correct. That's what we're trying to do. Great Correct. information out. Correct. They were complete professionals, and they just were amazing to have on. Correct. Oh, yeah. They were uh, they were definitely amazing. I watched it. You yeah. were amazing. Thank you. You should Very just nervous. do the show. I don't have to be here. Okay. Sounds good. I can bring my girls in. Why not? Why not? Bring my girls in. That's fine. I'll produce it. <laughs> okay, there you so go. So we can actually go on at 12 o'clock. <laughs> hey, kidding. this is the first time this has ever happened to us. Okay. It's all good. We play. It's, it's live TV. It's good. It's Listen, you gotta have you got to have fun. You know, if it's so structured and it's so... No one's going to watch it. Like our networking meetings. <laughs> right? You can't be so structured. you got to have fun. Yes. you got to have fun. This yes. is not a, a, a yes. professional... You know, yes, it's professional. It's not so... You know? Right. So it's tell fun. me what's going on in business. Business is good. Business is good. Uh, back in action, thankfully. We are on enjoy the verge. Enjoy your paternity leave once again. Uh, enjoy my paternity leave, but I'm done. Yeah. We're actually um, almost going to be closing on our storefront, which is great. Dynamic okay. Realty will have a storefront. We'll have a satellite office. Uh, we're, t we're teaming up with some awesome people. Okay. Um, it's going to be great. The, the beginning okay. of September is going to be great. Um, yes, August is a, um, a great month for real estate. Okay. Uh, for people that move in with their kids, right. uh, but September October is also great. Right. You know, September October is also great because of the fact that if you don't have kids, they're still moving in. And people want right. to sell their houses. How do you how's the market doing? Market's doing good. You know, market's how's market's like doing inventory? good. Because I know for a while, like the inventory, there was not enough inventory, right? And it was really a seller's market. Right. What are you finding right. now? It's it's um. The market is the market is good. You know the market. Okay. The market is good. There is inventory. Okay. Um, people are listing. Uh, people are definitely listing. Okay. Um, you know, there's a few battles here and there. I I, I wouldn't really say that it's a seller's market, Anymore. and I wouldn't okay. really say it's a buyer's market. Okay. I think right now we're really in between. And the interest rates are still low. Still low. Still low. They're they're you know, still so low. That's definitely, you know, yeah. but. But unfortunately, the banks are really not lending. I don't care what they say. They're just not lending. I no. mean, that's why you're like, no. my reverse business, 
it's great. Right. Because the rates are always low. Right. You know, except that, you know, we're going to have the changes. We actually just had a really good change. Oh, I want to tell you about this. So initially, when you took out a reverse mortgage, both parties had to be 62 or older. So if you had, say you married someone that was 59 and you're 62, you could not get a reverse mortgage. Or you could get a reverse mortgage, mm. but that 59-year-old spouse would have to come off the deed. Okay, so what happens? What happens That's if the husband dies? Now she's not on the deed. She has no rights to the house. And the loan gets called in because he dies. So I would never do that. It was called a non-borrowing spouse. I wouldn't do it. And there's been a lot of lawsuits about it. That's crazy. It is crazy. But more, a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of brokers did do it. I just wouldn't because I couldn't leave that other person homeless. It's unethical. Right. I couldn't leave them homeless. So now, as of Monday, we can do it. So if you are 59 and your spouse is obviously over 62, you can do a reverse. What they're doing now is, yes, they will come off deed, but... If you have a valid will in place, leaving the house to the spouse, goes back. It goes back back to the Good. spouse. So like very that. interesting. Very interesting. What happens interesting if your changes. spouse is fifty-eight? One of them has to be sixty-two. So if one of them is sixty-two. 62. It doesn't the matter what the other one is. Do you know that they actually have it going from the age eighteen up to sixty-one? You never, you never know. I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy. You never know. Offset. You want to be a cougar? Yes, I wanted to be a cougar. So. Okay. But, that, but isn't that right? interesting? Right, you never know. But isn't that interesting, though? Very interesting. So, I mean, that's a really good change in the reverse. So that yeah, part so. is, and the rates are still really low. Yeah. You know, the body shop, we're fixing everybody's cars that the kids have smacked up all summer from being home. Yeah, they go back. <laughs> they start going back, <laughs> what, like next, I think? Two weeks. Yeah, next two week, weeks. Next week. It's crazy. Yeah. Summer has just... Right, right. Flew exactly. And, but we really had such flew a great by. summer. Oh, yeah. Except we for this past summer. weekend. Well, after tomorrow, I think that's going to be like 81, 81, 81, 81. It's going to be beautiful sun Jet and everything. Jet season starts tomorrow. That's right. Football season starts, preseason. I'm, I'm looking forward to you it. you got to watch me. I'm looking forward to my shows. You know, my, my, it's my escape in September. I know. Please. You know. Um, Way too much time on your hands. I'm looking. Pff, no, not does now. Does the baby watch TV not with now. you? No. The baby does not watch TV. Not yet. He's so how young. many weeks is he? Born on the 20th. So he's two and a half weeks. Okay. Not he's sleeping through the night yet. Weeks. Um, the longest he's been sleeping straight through, um, I would say three and a half hours straight through. That's pretty through. good for two and a half weeks. Very good. Listen, he needs to eat. Very good. Very good. He could eat for an, <coughs> he can eat for an hour straight. I know. I know. But that's where you, you got to kind of cut it down. Mm-hmm. You know. But yeah, baby's healthy. Um, I'm healthy. I started my diet Monday. Are you, I was going to ask you about that. Uh, I'm actually and? eating much healthier now. And? And uh, Are I think I lost anything? about three, four pounds already. All right. Water. Water, Water weight. Water, Water weight. weight. Okay. But I feel, I feel, I feel more energetic. Good. I feel happier. Um, but it's good. I got to lose it. You do. I, I, uh, now you have I a child. I said to myself, you know, my career starts. Yes. We're getting, we're getting the, the, the storefront and everything is coming together. Yes. Uh, finally. Maybe we should do like a training and show. And it would be like great. Like and have a physical trainer on our show. We could do that. Okay. And I could do, do push-ups right here. Well, I'm just saying. And they could show us like <laughs> basic moves that you can do at home. True. Without going to the gym and true. without spending a fortune at the gym. Very true. We should get that. We should do Any that. Any personal trainers out there? Yeah, please let us know. We know. Uh, so let me, we're going to shoot the commercial. Before yes. we do, let me tell you something also. So, so two days ago, I met with this lady, two women. Okay. Um, uh, to be remain nameless. Okay, wait, but uh, I want to go back to, do I know this person? I don't think you know this, I don't think you know this person. I know everybody. But you know the company that she runs. Okay, okay. Um, which I'll tell you off set, because I don't know if she wants me to say it live. Okay. Um, so she started another company called Name, National Alliance of Male Executives. And she knows me through my networking and everything that I've done, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And wants me to come in and help build this company. And you don't um, have time for this one. Hold on. <laughs> build this company with all these male execs. Okay, bringing them in. Uh, Sylvester Stallone is part of it. Uh, Ernie Anastas is part of this company already. So she wants me to come in and do the marketing. However, what I said to her is, well, I have my real estate in this and this. How can we take this and put it in there? So Dynamic Realty is going to be the main sponsor of this male executive. Um, and any trade shows or anything that we do, Dynamic follows it. And all the men that are attached to it have access now to Dynamic Realty. And we get all the real estate through that way. So I'm putting these two together, possibly. We're still in talks. We're still in talks. Uh, and is but this I'm person going to come on our show? person will be coming on our show. Two okay. ladies. All right, good. Uh, they will be coming on our show. 
But it, it's, it's um, I like it. There's a lot of women's stuff out there, rightfully so, as Good. there should be. Yes. Uh, but there's really no male networking organization. Yes, there are. No, really. Name me one. Okay, I'm not even going to go there. Name me one. You know there are. Networking is male dominant. Correct. Strictly male, not, C, not, not a CEO group, nothing like that. No. A, a strictly male executive national club. Name me one that's known. Of course it's out there. There's tons of out there. But name right. me one that's known. Well, like, is it nice at Columbus? Aren't they? That's Columbus is not strictly males, though. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There's females that go to there. Nope. Nope. You have to be a male to join Knights of Columbus. It's not really a networking organization. Networking. Well, but it is. We'll fight off. We'll fight off set. Okay. We'll agree to disagree. We'll fight off set. Yes. Uh, we'll shoot the commercial. We'll come back with our special guest. I'm looking um, forward to our it. Our guest is an awesome, awesome individual. Oh, which um, is nice. I don't really know him, so I'm going to get to know a lot. Of yeah, you get to know him. You'll which talk. I'm actually going to be quiet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who wants to take bets I on that? I'm actually quiet. And we may, after, <laughs> we may <laughs> after him, have another guest. We got to see. Hey, we may have All another guest. All right. No, we may. I don't know. Okay. We got to see. And maybe Tommy will, will easily produce this show. Right, Tommy? We good? How's it going there, Tommy? We good? All right, Tommy. You ready? Go Let's to the commercial. commercial. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York, and we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkman, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing.
Welcome back. What's happening in Long Island? Very good, Tommy. Very good. Very good transition. <laughs> I like it. Stop making fun of him. I'm not making fun of him. I'm being I supportive. He got me through my last show. Excuse me. He was I the reason that I was so successful. Supportive. Okay, you don't sound like you're being supportive. I'm being supportive. All right. He got me through my last Listen, show. Listen, this is a live show. we got to have fun. Even Tommy, though, am I being supportive? No. You're being, he's being arrogant and obnoxious. Wow. All right. Could you introduce our guest, please? It would be an honor. Thank you. And a privilege okay. to do that. Good. Audience, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, <laughs> I like to introduce to you a, a, a very dear friend of mine, um, <laughs> an, an awesome partner, an awesome real estate guy, an awesome commercial guy, Mr. Robert Bass. How you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. So how do you like our, our little home away from home set? I love it. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Nice and cozy. It is cozy. Yes. Very cozy, very relaxing. Good. Now, he knows everything about you. No, I don't. <laughs> Can you shut up? It's comparative. Thank you. I have only met you a couple times. So I would like to find out more about you. So tell me about Should you. Should I step off the set? If you need to. So tell me about you. Tell, uh, me, tell me what you do. I own Inbrook Capital. We're okay. We're a commercial mortgage brokerage. Okay. And uh, I've been originating mortgages since 1995. Okay. Uh, Inbrook wasn't uh, incorporated until 2013. Right. But I, I've been around the mortgage business for, for going on 20 years. See, and you survived, like I'm I in the survived. mortgage business. And it, it's rough. I survived. A and the regulations and the testing and the fingerprinting and the banking yeah. departments. And, you know, kudos to you because it was a very hard time that we all went through when was, the market collapsed. It was a very difficult time. Right. And, uh, and you know what? A lot of people didn't survive that. A lot of people didn't survive. Uh, I have many many friends and colleagues in the industry that, uh, you know, when it collapsed, we got dispersed like buckshot. Yeah. You know, people ended up being waiters, waitresses, unemployed. Uh, you did what you had to do to survive. Careers, yeah. Right. Yeah. And, um, and thank God it's coming back a little bit. Yeah. Uh, some of us stayed in it. Yeah. We just toughed it out. Some people did something else for a couple of years right. and are now returning back to the mortgage industry. Except that they were returning and we didn't have the guidelines and the, the, you know, the, um, the testing that, we, that is in place now. Right. Which is so much harder because I didn't have to be licensed and then, now, then I did. And taking that test was like I could have taken the bar. Yeah. No, they were it, was, it was rough. They are returning to a completely different industry. Right. In terms of regulation, compliance, mm -hmm. oversight. Right. Uh, stem to stern. Yes. It's different. Right. Uh, and a lot is. of people are not passing that test. No, they're not. You know what I'm saying? You could be the most intelligent person, but that test is meant for you to fail. I think it's, um, I think it's good for the industry overall. Oh, I think it's the best thing um, they could have done. Having devoted my entire professional life to the mortgage industry, mm -hmm. it was very, very tough to go through. Yeah. Uh, to go through the last five years. Yes. Uh, in the end, coming out of it, uh, I'm happy to see that you know the mortgage industry uh, is a is a cleaner safer environment yes for those of us who who practice yep. real professional mortgage origination from the uh, beginning yeah to work in exactly. what made you decide to go into commercial rather than residential well when i started i originated residential and commercial and um it's it's just a choice uh between dealing with john q homeowner or dealing with uh, a business-to-business -business transaction where you have a business person, a building owner, who has a definite plan with what they want to do with the asset, with the equity. So it's a completely different discussion. It's a completely yes. different transaction. And it just evolved. It evolved that I preferred to do business-to-business -business transactions over, you know. So when did you, when did you strictly do commercial? When did you drop your residential part? I haven't originated residential loans since 2004. Hmm. That's a long time, 10 years. Yeah. So uh, I took a break from originating anything for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked as a wholesaler. And then, you know, when the mortgage market hit the skids, there was... Nothing left to wholesale. Nope. nope. You know, there was no Nothing. product to wholesale, no one to wholesale it too. Yep. Right. So, uh, you know, I, I regrouped a little bit, and then we came back as Inbrook. So tell me so. about, like we were just talking about um, the mortgage rates and lending. How do you find it is in the commercial market? Because I know in the residential market, it's hard. It's, it's very, very tough for, you know, an average person to refinance their home right now. 
Yes, it is. Um, How do you find on the commercial side? Commercial side is uh, is a little bit different. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say you know that banks are that banks are not lending. Okay. It's definitely uh, a little stricter. Okay. You know, more eyes are dotted, more T's are crossed. Um, it's a very different compliance environment than residential. Okay. Because it's not a it's not a consumer transaction, so it doesn't fall under RESPA. Okay. Um, but when banks yeah when banks are getting audited for having too much real estate on their books in general, commercial is definitely part of that, and it has it has taken a toll on uh, commercial mortgage origination from right. banks from credit unions. Um, now how are the rates compared rates to are good. the rates are good too for, rates for commercial are good. okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, they, commercial rates, you know, generally use uh, treasuries as, as benchmarks or mm -hmm. LIBOR. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so they will follow the general pattern of the overall, of the overall market. Okay. So they've, they've gone up slightly as residential rates, I'm sure, have gone up slightly over the last quarter or two. Right, and then they came back down again. Right, then they came back down again. And, um, you know, as, as economic news continues to get better. Right. Rates will increase slightly. I don't think anyone was expecting any any huge leaps in rates right. in, the, in the near Hopefully term. Hopefully not. But right. um, but that keeps the, that keeps the money moving. Right. You know right. when it, when the cost of, of borrowing is mm -hmm. low, uh, it's it's, it's easy, easier to qualify. Right. You know on the commercial side, unlike the residential side, the decision to lend is largely based on the income that comes out of the property, as opposed to the income the borrower earns. Okay. Right on a residential transaction, your borrower has to be able to make the mortgage payments. Correct. On a commercial transaction, the income that the building produces is what pays the mortgage. As far as what? If you're going to this building that we're sitting in, if okay. it had a mortgage on it, right? The ability to repay the mortgage cannot, by the business generated. Right. Okay. So it's you know, more like okay. It's not from the owner who bought the building. Okay. It's from all the tenants. Okay. Who pay the rent? The income. Right coming out of the building. Right. So. But what about like a small business owner? Small business owners are. Lost um, in the shuffle. They're in a, they're in a tough spot. And yes. I, do a lot, I, I do a lot of seminars specifically right. for small business owners mm -hmm. on a variety of topics. Uh, one of which, of course, is, is owning real estate. Right. But um, not only are they, you know, uh, in, in a tough spot in terms of, uh, you know, collecting their information, but the loan sizes uh, that small business owners are looking at, let's say under a million, um, under half a million, uh, many banks have thresholds that those loan sizes don't meet. Right. So they have even fewer options. Exactly. If you're borrowing tens of millions uh, and you're a qualified borrower, uh, you'll have your pick of where to go. Right. But if you're a small business owner. Like my husband and I when we originally bought our original shop. Right. And you're looking for, you know, a five hundred thousand. Exactly, loan. that was exactly it. Right. I mean, we ended up going into like an SBA loan. Yeah, well, SBA. SBA is a great program. That was uh, a, right. Well, we sold that a year ago. But let me tell you something. It was it was tough back then, and it would be ten years this December. And it's tough today. I can't imagine how much tougher it is now. You have to, you have to search a lot. I would say if there's anything, that uh, you know, almost twenty years of experience allows me to do. Is to uh, is to have a stable of lenders mm -hmm. that I know cater to people who right. need those what we call smaller loans. Right. When you think half a million dollars, not such a small loan in the commercial world. Uh, right, it's a, it's, it's, it's quite pennies. A small loan. Well, yeah. it's pennies compared to what. It is right, yeah. right, so. right. It's difficult. It's it's difficult to be a small business in this environment right now. Yeah, absolutely. It really is. There's, you know, there's nothing there's nothing easy about it. No. No, nope. from space to employees to health plans. It's, yeah. uh, it's crazy. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to shoot to commercial. Uh, when we get back, uh, I want to dig a little more in depth and uh, deep to in, in Brook and, and to find out exactly um, if you have any partners or how, how it's going to run. So we'll talk a little more about the business when we get back. Sure. Sounds good? Awesome. We'll be right back.
YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials! You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power? Yeah, I do! Power! Welcome back. What's happening, Long Island? Tommy again. Very nice. Very nice. Moving right along. I want to be supportive. <laughs> okay. So we're back with Bobby Bass, Robert Bass, uh, Inbrook Capital. So within Inbrook Capital, is it just you? Do you have partners? Uh, Inbrook Capital is owned by my wife and I. Um, yeah, it's family business. Always nice. Yeah, family business. Uh, I'm going on 20 years. She's probably in it a few more years than I am. But, um, you know, we have, we have a couple of salespeople. Who's the boss? Uh, my wife's the boss. <laughs> I was going to answer that for him. Uh, There's a camera. Uh, I'm looking right at the camera. Okay. <laughs> my wife is the boss. That's it. All right. No question about it. That's it. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Someone said to me yesterday, well, I told your husband. I go, okay, so let me ask you a question. And I'm going to ask this to both oh, of you. Who makes the final decision? Well, well, let me ask you a question. If he, who pays more attention? Oh. You or your wives? Very oh, honestly. My, my pays wife. more attention to what? To someone telling you something. Oh, my wife. Generally Bar speaking, none. I would say my wife. Thank you. Bar none. So they're like, oh, we told I Greg. Have, you told Greg, I really? I have selective hearing. Well, we know that. What? I have selective hearing. We know that. What? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway. so Let's get back to Inbrook Capital. Right. Does okay. she run the business? No. Uh, she's been nice enough to let me run the business. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love being the only female on the show. Go ahead. So, um, <laughs> no, I, I run the I run the day to day operations. Uh, okay. I'm, you know, I'm out there bringing in uh, bringing in new deals along with uh, uh, several of salespeople. Okay. That uh, that bring deals in, and. Um, What's a good referral for you? How do you get business? Uh, well, let's not get business when people are looking to buy buildings, sell buildings, or take the equity out of a building. Okay, so that's what I'm so, saying. Like, how, how would we help you? Or how could the viewers help you to get business? Most of the business, most of the good business that I do, because being in commercial real estate in general, people tend to approach you with a lot of quote-unquote deals. Mm -hmm. uh, some are real deals, some are long shots, uh, mm -hmm. some are complete fantasy. Um, Generally speaking, I work primarily with CPAs. Really? Yeah, most of my clients, when they have a question, okay. they call their CPA first. That's very interesting. Um, Would you ever think that, thought that? No. Okay. Well, people, people tend to think that they call their attorneys first. Um, I find when speaking to most of my clients that they call their attorney when they have a specific need. Okay. You know, like if Mike was, at, was my attorney, uh, you know, Mike, uh, I need a contract drawn up uh, or reviewed. Mike... Um, you know, I have a problem with a tenant I need addressed. Mike, uh, you know, I have uh, some other business I'd like to look at. But, um, you know, I find when the, when the building owners, when my typical clients have a question, they, they, call, their, they call their accountant first. That's very interesting. And, um, and that's, that's where the highest quality referrals for my business come from. Okay. What made you decide on the name Inbrook Capital? Uh... <laughs> Well, uh, I am almost 100% Austrian. My father is from Austria. There's a town in Austria called Innsbruck. Mm. 
Mm. So uh, I am I am first generation, and uh, so I, I opted not to go with Innsbruck and the Austrian colors, um, just because that was that was a little too ethnic. But uh, I, I settled on Innsbruck. I played around with a couple names and color schemes, and I like it. You have so children? I do. I have an eleven-year-old daughter. Aww. Does she, does she want to be like you? I want to go in the business, Daddy? So, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right now, uh, I, I think she wants to be a doctor. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's very nice. exciting. Everybody, that is very exciting. You know? Especially at 11 years old. She so say, Daddy, I want to be a doctor. Well, she's got a big heart, like a daddy. Aww. You know? Yeah. So, she, so she, likes, she likes helping people. Uh, oh, yeah. We have a dog. So, you know, she likes, she likes dogs. She likes pets in general. You bet. In general. Uh, who knows? Right. Who knows? Right. Nice. You know? Very exciting. Of course, the way she argues with me, uh, I, you know, I suggest she become an attorney. Oh, that's mine. That's you what know? I want my daughter to become. Yep. Probably a litigator. But, yeah. You know, a lot could change. So. Well, girls, <laughs> because girls have that strong personality. Yeah, yeah. And she's definitely a daddy's girl, because I can tell by your face. <laughs> <laughs> well, from my perspective, she is. I hope she feels the same way. Yeah. My but, daughter's uh, definitely a daddy's girl. But, and she, but she is strong, though. I mean, yeah. They are, they're women. Strong personalities. She makes the decisions. And, right. What is she doing for the summer? She's at sleepaway camp. Oh, really? When does she go back? She's enjoying a sleepaway camp. Um, I don't know the exact date. I think the 17th. Excited to have her back? Where is she? So. What, what sleepaway camp? I don't know if she wants me. Oh, okay. I don't know if I should give her My nephews are at camp. Okay, my People, nephews are. Our viewers are going to want to send her letters and stuff. Oh, you can't give that personal okay. information okay. out. No, I don't want to. Are you happy to be, are you happy to have her home? Well, I'm looking forward to her coming back. Yeah, yes. it's the house, it's, it's so. It's weird. It, it's just so annoyingly empty. Yeah. It's not even like emptiness. We, used to, have like a, we used to have an empty house. Yeah, okay. Not for a very, very Oh, no, I take that back. Time. Technically speaking, we have a dog, so it's not really that empty. Right. But enough but, about me. But it's different when your children leave. I remember my yeah. daughter went to sleepaway camp every single summer, mm -hmm. even when she was a counselor, whatever. And then one year, my son went like on a teen tour for like 10 days. Yeah. And, oh, my God, I was crazy. I called my daughter at camp. I'm like, you have to come home. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> like, I just, and I have three golden retrievers. You know, and I had my husband. And my in-laws lived with me. But I was a misery. I was. So it's, mm. well, I used to cry when so they So you have left. a full house, but not a complete house. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> I felt like my heart. I understand that. I felt like my heart would go away with her. And that half my heart was missing. Part of your heart does go away with it. Right? Yeah, you put them on the bus and part of, part of your heart goes away with them, absolutely. Yeah, and then like time kind of stands still until they come home. Uh, yeah, it does. It's right? Like, yeah, it's like you're in a vacuum. Yes. Right, yeah. Yes, it's and weird. you're like, you count the days until they come home, and then when they come home, you're like, oh, why didn't I enjoy the summer? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's already starting. It's like, oh, the summer's over. We haven't enjoyed the summer enough. Right, exactly. Um. But when you have kids, your whole perspective, and, and you should know this now. Your whole I'll, get, I'll get there. I'll get there. Come on, you get even there. in Ten the last years. two and a half years, two and a half weeks, two and a half weeks. No, my my your my perspective of life has totally changed. Exactly. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Exactly, it, your priorities change. It's totally changed. It's not about you anymore. And, no. I know this is really hard, but it's not about you're, you. It's funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it not. was. Uh, it's not. Am I allowed to say your son's name? Sure. You're Everyone knows my name. Going forward, you're Tyler's dad. That's it. Oh yeah. Right. You're not forget. Oh yeah, I will. I will always. I will always be Tyler's dad. Yes. And uh, and I'm happy about that. Right. Until and his needs are always going to come first. Until you have another child, then you'll be yeah. so, another child. Then you'll be so and so's dad with that group. <sighs> you know. Until we have another child, we only want two children. So, uh, we're going to shoot the right. We're going to shoot the com a quick commercial. Okay. When we get back, I'm going to talk about uh, the future of Inbrook, and then we'll talk a little about networking, and then we'll wrap it up. You got it. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. We'll be right back. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net.
Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and we're in Cockman, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. We're back. We're back. We're back. So it's good to be back. Wait. Silence. Great interview. Silence. Really, really. Anything I you wanna? Silence. Anything we didn't ask so, you that uh, you uh, want? Uh, excuse me. Anything that you want? Well, before to add? we do that, I want to know about the future of Inbrook. Well, I, that's what I'm saying, Tim. Do you want to add anything? anything I'll tell you very did, quickly. Right. Anything that we didn't hit upon. Not quickly. Not quickly. Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> it, won't, it won't take five minutes. I promise. Um, no, the, the, future, the future of Inbrook, well, fortunately, uh, business is good. Um, you know, we just joined forces, uh, you know, with you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, with you. <laughs> you know, Mike. Mike oh, and, good. Yeah, that would be good. And, and Chris and I just joined forces uh, with Real Estate Connection to yep. open Dynamic Realty, which is nice. Um, and I'm happy to say that uh, we actually contracted with Commercial Realty Nation. Uh, I'm sure lots, lots of people watching have heard of WASI owns commercial realty nation yep and uh so we're looking uh we're really looking forward to uh to both those relationships it's really all one big relationship without but question dynamic realty commercial realty nation yeah, and we and we welcome you with open arms and we're happy and in Brooklyn. and uh, we're bringing a lot of people like jill bringing in for the reverse like insurance like yeah. uh mortgage residential mortgage companies that we're bringing in um so anyone out there that that wants to be a part of inbrook capital and bobby and wants to be a part of Jill or myself, definitely contact us. Uh, yeah. Speaking of contacting, if someone wants to contact you directly, if you can look into that camera uh, or look into that it. camera or look into whatever camera that Tommy has on you. Um, and Oh, there we go. I right, can, that I camera. Can look into all the cameras. Look at that. There you go. Look into that camera and just let them know how they can, how they can contact you. Inbrook Capital, specifically Bobby Bass, can always be reached at 631-920-6121. Where's your office located? In Melville, right now. Okay. Um, when I leave the office, I forward my personal line to my cell phone. Right. We so don't do that. 
you should always get me uh, unless I'm uh, on set and there's no cell phones right. allowed. <laughs> exactly. Unless no I'm cell phones allowed. No cell phones allowed. Unless um, I'm on set. So we'll let, we'll wrap it up. We have about five more minutes. It's a quick show today. Yes. Um, we don't want to give Tommy too much of a heart no, attack. He's having a hard time. You know, I think he's doing great. He's doing a great I think job. he's doing a great job producing. Yes, he is. Uh, but we don't want to give him too much of a heart attack, so yes. we'll wrap it up. Um, networking. I know August. Let's talk golf. Let's. We didn't get to talk about my <sighs> golf lessons. Forget golf. We'll talk about no, golf next week. Do you week. golf? Uh, I do. Do you we golf don't in networking? Shush, 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 shush. Do you golf because of networking? Do you find that's a good opportunity? Yes. Thank you. So I take golf lessons now because I feel that women <laughs> awesome. miss out of a lot of opportunity by not being able to golf and not being on the golf course with men networking. Oh, God bless you, Jill. Well, anybody. You know, listen, I know a lot of men who don't golf. They're missing so, on the same opportunities. I am golfing July 18th. No, so, August 18th. July 18th, really? August 18th, um, Gotham is having a huge golf outing at Cold Spring Harbor. Nice. And I heard I'm even going to have a caddy. And I'm very excited. Ooh. Well, yes. Want me to be your so, caddy? When we're Diana done here, if you I, give me the details. Uh, yeah, so Diana and I are golfing. Do you want us to air your golf lesson? I mean, your golf, uh, your golfing? We, we really should have a golf show also, just That'd to mention that. <laughs> yes, just to mention that. Why don't we just have every show? Okay. Do you golf? No. Mini. Mini. I have to say, it's so amazing being out there. The it best. just is. I mean, it's just the weather, the scenery, the, it's just beautiful. If I am you, just having a ball. Thanks for If you can me. manage to shut your phone off, oh, yeah. you'll really be in a zone oh, yeah. where nothing outside the nothing. golf course exists. Right. And yeah. you really have that personal relationship with the four people. You know, so like this. You learn your golf and then teach me. <sighs> teach me. Anything else you want me to do for you? Really? Did you teach learn me. how to change diapers? <coughs> yes. Okay, good. That's so Seriously. Good. Okay. Networking. So what else? So that's what I'm doing. August 18th. What well, are you doing? It's really August. There's really nothing. There's really nothing. Really nothing happened. I know October 30th, and we'll like we'll, we'll continue to say this. October 30th is the New York Expo, um, where Dynamic Realty is having center stage okay. um, in the social media lab, and we're bringing a selfie mirror. Um, of course you are. <laughs> and uh, Inbrook will be there <laughs> and, and a few other places, a few other companies. Wait, I do have to mention September 15th at BNI. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't done talking. It doesn't matter. BNI has rescheduled their golf outing for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. No, because it's important. They're sending this little five-year-old who is terminal to Disney World. And I'm what, sorry, what but that's... What is it, September what? September 15th. So we really all have to golf. Okay? September yes. I think it's 15th. in Hop Hog. Whatever that golf course is. There is there a rain date? Not at this moment, so we're hoping for good weather. But listen, you know what? Good. This girl needs us. The family good. needs us, so we have to do this. Good. Cool. This is all about charity and all about good. being out there. So a few, so a few stuff coming up. Yes. That's good. Uh, yes. Next week, I know uh, we'll be on a different set. We'll have different people. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Uh, Bobby, thank you for coming. Thank I, you. I appreciate thank you being thank a. Thank you both uh, for having me. You were great. This is wonderful. Uh, you a were good great. guest. Yes. Um, Tommy, again, thank you very much. Love you, Tommy. Love you, Tommy. You did a great job. Thank you for being my co-host. As always, thank you for coming back. I couldn't have missed it twice. I, I know. I can only miss once. I, I, I really, couldn't miss it twice. And I couldn't have another push the smiley face. It was fun. And I love the show. There he is. Listen, I, I, I love the show. <laughs> I love being. Priceless. I love the show. I love being a host, co-host with you. I love that what we do. Um, I love what that what we do here. It's it's a great show. That's what it is. It's a great show. If you want to be on it, contact either one of us. Call us. Uh, we'll be more than happy. You could sit right there and talk with us. Yes. Have fun. You can see we have fun here. Yes. Um, and let's yes. Uh, let's let's have, let's do it. We entertain each other very well. We do, right? Yes, we do. Till uh, till next time, I will have next you do week. the I will have you do the honors of saying goodbye to everybody. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate it, and we will see you all next Wednesday. Same bat time, same bat channel. Maybe we'll start on time. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> we will have full full crew here next week. <laughs> Have a great week, everybody. See you later. Thanks to Manhouse TV.